Sometimes I'm a little over-optimistic and a little enthusiastic, <laughs> but when I heard Simon Coveney say, what we're looking for here is progress and a nil-nil draw so that both sides get something out of it, uh, and, and, and Heaton Harris saying, look, well, you know, we will have those elections if needs be, but we think we can make some progress on the protocol. What was your reading of it? Well, there's no doubt the mood music has changed over this past... 10 days or so. It started with Steve Baker saying that perhaps things should have been done differently. You remember him saying yes. that? Um, and I think there has been a change of mood music. But it's interesting to hear Simon Coveney talk about what we want as a nil-nil draw. Well, of course... The people in Northern Ireland feel that they're 5-0 down at the moment. So we need to come back up again to that equilibrium that we all want to see happening because the East-West uh, trade is where the balance uh, isn't happening at the moment because, of course, there's all of those checks mm. uh, for goods moving across from Great Britain into Northern Ireland. And because we're part of the United Kingdom, we have a very intricate supply chain right across the UK, and that's causing a lot of disturbance to those people mm. who need to get goods in yeah. from Great Britain into Northern yeah. Ireland. I, mean, well, I, I love the programme I do at the weekend, um, uh, we've often chatted with, yeah. with representatives of the, you know, the Chamber of Commerce in Northern Ireland and, 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 and real businessmen and women mm. for whom it is. It's actually, you know, trying to run your, run your life and run your business and what have you. But, but let me put another thought to you again, just to make sure it's not Stuart naivety. <laughs> Coveney said the UK has legitimate concerns that need a response, and the UK means Northern Ireland as well in this context, crucially. Uh, and he also said, but we too have legitimate concerns that need to be addressed. Well, I'm not sure what those are, because proportionality always comes into the European uh, lexicon. And what, do you mean the second point, or, or no, either no, of them? In terms of, the UK does have legitimate concerns, yeah. obviously, as to what is happening in Northern Ireland, because there's been the breakdown of the Belfast Agreement, and of course... It's 25 years old next April. I think sure. they, they talked about how they would mark that next year at the Intergovernmental co Conference this morning. But if they don't sort out the protocol, they're not going to have institutions. And that's a fundamental point about the Belfast Agreement. The Belfast Agreement had three strands to it. You'll know this, Alistair. Yeah. Strand one was the internal administration of Northern Ireland, in other words, the Assembly. Strand two was the north-south relationships between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And strand three was the relationship between the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. Yeah. So what has happened is the Strand 3 has been fractured by the protocol, in other words, that east-west uh, trade coming across, um, and it needs to be fixed, because until it's fixed, we're not going to be able to have Strand 1, in other words, the Assembly. Sure. So Which was eaten. Which was Heaton Harris's, Heaton Harris's point. point. And yeah. I thought it was good to hear the Secretary of State, uh, Chris Heaton Harris, say that the protocol bill stays on the floor uh, of mm. the House of Commons and the House of Lords until such times mm. uh, as it's not needed and negotiations yeah. work. Uh, well, and sadly, I mean, the, one of the negative bits was that brilliant question from, from the young man yeah. from RTE yeah. who said, you know, the European Union says, if you do, if you're insistent upon going ahead with the protocol bill, it is, quotes like having a gun on the table during these negotiations. Well, I, I did smile when I heard that because, I mean, it's a bit like the backstop. Do you remember the backstop? I remember the backstop very well. Frighteningly well. <laughs> Yes, well, this is a bit like the UK government's backstop. They're essentially saying we want to negotiate, we want to find a way forward together, but we have this legislation in place as a backstop. Sure. Because we have to, as the sovereign government of Northern Ireland, protect the citizens of Northern Ireland as well. So really what they're saying is this is a backstop, but we have a good mood music now, we're getting on very well, let's find a solution, mm. and I think that's positive.